Hello everyone, welcome back to more Tametsu. We're gonna jump in today to puzzle number 79, Braid. There is kind of a braiding of purples and blues here. And there's no C's, so let's start there. We do have diagonals. This one next to this one puts nothing here. Okay, the two next to the one, there's a mine there, and none here. This three only has three neighbors, so we get some zeros out. These two ones, nothing here. These two ones, none of these. And these two ones, none of these. This three next to ones puts a mine here and neither of these spaces. Five? It only has six neighbors, and one of them is, two of them are shared by this one, so the other four are all mines, and we have a zero again. Okay, we need outside help here. Either the total A count or this three column, I guess, is going to have to answer this area. Okay, we'll start working in this direction. Then we have a one here. This three next to the one can have at most one mine in the, this my area, therefore these two. Um, therefore exactly one of these two for what that's worth, which is not very much at the moment. Where do I go? Oh, this two is finished. There we go. Two next to a one, no mine. Sorry, there is a mine here is what I mean to say. And no mine here. This zero column, we can take this space, and this four gives us all of these. And indeed, this zero has disambiguated this area. Zero here and here. These, this mine needs, this two needs two mines here. These two ones, nothing there. Three Bs left. Well, two of them are on this call, this row, and at least one of them is here. But I don't think that actually tells me that this is safe, because it could be this and this could be the ones in this column, and then one more here. And there's still space for another B there. We're close to having that, but we don't actually have it, I don't think. There are five gray mines. Is that helpful? I don't quite see how. Because our present set of clues, we might have practically none of them pointed up by these rows and column clues. It might be, you know, it might be like this. Well, yeah, because we could still have this, right? And that, that solves, the Bs are still okay. All the rows and columns are okay. Like, we haven't found out anything about the, um... Oh! Hang on. 
I think what I was saying earlier about almost having the bees is ruled out by this. I think we actually have them, right? So there's two bees here. Um, and let's say, well, okay. And in this area, there's two bees. Um, it could be these two. But then this... There'd be no, no, that's fine. There'd be these and one of the, okay. I think, I think I just, that's exactly what I said the first time. But I really think this, these twos are the only thing we can possibly figure out right now. Did I say twos? I meant bees, the blue bees. And this is like the one of those bees that really stands out as something unusual. So I think we're meant to prove that this can't be a mine. Because what else could we do at this stage? So let us then suppose that it is a mine and deduce a contradiction. We have not this, okay. We have two more bees. Yeah, of course. And those bees are all in this, no, this is fine. They're all in this row. Could be here, here, and then to finish this column, we have here, and that's still okay. Hmm. Can we combine adjacent rows at some point? We do have three adjacent edge clues, edge clue pairs, I guess. Um, I don't think these are interesting to combine. And I feel like I tried to combine these and didn't get anywhere. Like, I don't think I said anything about it, but I looked at it. Um, Yeah, there's just like nothing going on there. This the three is like weird. It's conspicuous, isn't it? What is it telling me? Like nothing. So I think also that we, like, we proved that if this is a mine, we need this space here. But I don't think we need this space if this isn't a mine, right? We do this, this, um, and say we want this to not be a mine. That's fine. This is. And then our last two are like this or something. In both of those scenarios, we had that this was a mine, but that's only because we tried to force this to be one. If we had said, okay, I, I want it to, to not be one. If I said, I want this to be a mine, then we say, okay, well, this isn't, congratulations. And neither is this, but everything else comes out you know, fine. So I don't think we can say anything about this square. Like, what do you get this line out of here? It's driving me crazy. Five gray mines seems like it should be helpful, but there's so many places they could go. Uh, 
right? I mean, yeah, no, I mean, especially with this whole area out here, there's tons of space to smuggle gray mines in. 11 A's doesn't really seem to be anything. There's a million spaces A's could be. I feel quite stuck here. I mean, it's only 11 minutes in. We must have made very quick progress on the previous part of this. I feel like we've been staring at this for at least six or seven minutes, right? God, this one A in this column is so annoying. If I could just get rid of that, everything would be lovely. Wait, am I stupid? Yeah, that's what's happening. It's so much easier. The Bs. There's exactly two here and exactly one here. I was looking at this as the important B row clue. Edge clue, I guess, because there's so many of them. But it's interrupted. There's an A here, making it like much less useful. This one, it does have exactly one B. And this has exactly two Bs, so all the rest of the Bs are safe. Okay, I knew we had to do something with the Bs, and I just couldn't see it. But now, finally, at long last, I have. Uh, and I think this column is going to tell us some cool stuff, so let's just pencil it in. There's... Uh, one here, which means one here, which means one here, which means two here, which finishes this two. And then what? Um, oh, this seems good, I think. Um, this two being next to this one means we have at most one of these two, three. Which means at least one of these. So this three can have at most two in this area, but that doesn't help, does it? Also, I haven't been notating very well. Um, at least one here, therefore at most one here. Oh, that that's why it was looked stupid because I was notating wrong. Let's double check. We have at most one of these at most one of these two for this two, therefore at least one of these at most one of these. So now this three needs all of these to be both. It needs two of these in order to finish itself. So this two is done. Also, this column is almost done, I guess. And I think uh, we can go the other direction with this, right? Yeah. There's, um... Wait, can I? There's two here, which means exactly one here, exactly one here, therefore exactly one here, and this one's finished. These two ones, nothing here.
I really can't do anything more here. Maybe I can. One, one. To finish this two, there's one here. To finish this three, there's one here. To finish this two, there must be one here. And that finishes the row. So we can get these. Two and one puts a mine here. Still eight A's. Oh, this two column looks good now? Yes, there's only two mines left in it. Two spaces, rather. This one and this two put a mine here, which finishes this row, so these spaces are safe. This zero has finally finished this. We're done with the bees as well. Uh, one puts a mine there. This row's done, nothing there. That two next to one mine here, but not here. Need total mine a mines to resolve that. So we have to solve this without a mines. Let's see. There's two in this column. That seems pretty exciting. Um, because then there's one here for this three. And I think that solves the left half of this. I just have to work it out. If there's one here, then this is a one, this is a two, this is a one, ig ignoring this area. No, it doesn't mean that. This is a two, and one of these is a one, and the other is maybe a one, maybe a two. Oh, there's two gray mines. Is that important? It seems sort of important. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because, well, mm, no. Hmm. Maybe. No. <laughs> Sorry, maybe I should let you guys in on some of what's going on here. I was looking at like, we also, we also know one of these and one of these and one of these, don't we? Yeah. So the problem is it could be both of these and this, or it could be one of these, one of these and this. I don't see anything immediately preventing either of those outcomes. Well, there are six total mines the problem is I don't think I'll be able to, well, maybe. It's sort of hard. It seems unlikely that I'll be able to use total mines to d derive this area because I need total mines to derive this area as well. However, if we found out that the total number of mines outside of this area, or suppose we found out the total number of mines in this area was either zero or one based on some work we do over here. Then we would say, oh, well, it can't be zero, obviously, so it must be one. And then we could use that to figure out the total mines here. Likewise, if we found out it was either like two or three, we would say, well, it can't be three, so it must be two. Um, so maybe total mines could help us over here. Um, 
So we have one mine here, one mine here, one mine here, one mine here. Um, but, you know, it's actually better, I think, to go here. No, it's the same. I was thinking like, you know, two here and one here is better, but it covers the exact same spaces. I don't know what I was thinking. So a count maybe? There's one here, one here, at least one down here. Which means at most one of these four. But that doesn't tell me anything useful. Hmm. Ugh, this is frustrating. I feel like I should be there. I guess the thing to do is to guess something and see what that tells me and try to work backwards to how I should have figured it out without guessing. So suppose we made this a mine, right? Then this isn't. Uh, and then I guess this is for this two to be done. But I think that's sort of the end of the line here. Yeah. Suppose though that we made this a mine, then we have the opposite in all of these squares and we have this and uh, we're doing the left half. Yeah, none of these. we would then have one of these two and at least one of these two, these three, therefore none of these A's. And we would have this as our last mine in the area. So, I don't see any contradictions in this, but I don't also see it as being necessarily true. Suppose then that we guessed that this space was the mine in this area. We'd have this. Yeah, let me, let me just, ugh, I hate doing that. That was a mistake. I shouldn't have erased everything. I should just erase the first set of deductions from guessing these. It's, what I'm getting at is it seems like guessing these isn't really telling me all that much. Whereas guessing this resolves like the whole puzzle. Right? So we have one of the, you have that, and therefore not that. Therefore, these, and not that, and none of these, not this, one of these, one, two, three, none of these, this. So that's one possible solution that seems consistent so far. Um, what if we guess that this is the mine in this area? I think we'll come to a similar conclusion about all this stuff. In fact, let's not get make that guess yet. So I think we'll just derive mostly the same thing. Instead, I want to guess that this is the mine in this area. So I think that'll lead me to some very different conclusions. We'll have none of these. And we'll have this. One of these. Oh, this is impossible. Um, watch, I'll do it in bigger, bigger text, so to speak. Say this were a mine. Um, none of these are, because we know two of these are. That means this must be, and this also must be for this too. So this isn't, that's fine. And this is, lovely. And then we have this to finish the two, and one of these. 
we've already found four A's, so there can't be any A mines down here. So this is impossible. This two can't be a mine. Why? I guess it's to do with the relationship between these two spaces somehow. If this is a mine, this has to be, and this has to be, and that's too many. But I don't think, I don't, I don't know. Why do they have to be? It's just like, well, they do. I don't know. I'm not very happy with that solution. Hmm. Did I end up doing this one without a mistake, by the way? I did. I just not I don't I don't like it. I don't know. If someone wants to point out in the comments how would have been a better way to figure that out, like preferably with a timestamp, uh, so I can see remember what you're talking about, that would be nice. But anyway, we're done for today. Oh, D20, I didn't look at this one. Is that what a D20 looks like? Uh, I mean, not really, right? Maybe, maybe this is supposed to be like perspective kind of thing. Huh, what is the top, what do faces on a D20 look like? What shape are they? Are they triangles? I haven't used a d20 in a long time. I kind of thought they were like pentagons or something. Um, no, they're triangles, all right, fair enough. Oh, let me, and so can you, how many of them can you see at a time? When you're looking at the main face like this, you can see three kind of smaller faces. And you can also see like, Six more kind of slivers of faces. Hmm, I'm not sure this is a convincing D20. Where was D20 even? There it is. Blue chips. Is this supposed to be like a poker chip? And this is like game themed? I don't know. Daisy Chain doesn't look poker the game themed. Anyway, okay, we're done. We solved um number 79, Braid. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.